Christ's redemption, the purchase of blood, to every believer the promise of God, the vilest offender who truly believed that moment from Jesus a pardon received. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Great things he hath taught us, great things he hath done, and great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. Cause you Our second song is I Surrender All.
Our next song is Draw Me Nearer. Joseph. Please stand for our opening song, Softly and Tenderly. Oh, hymn number 287.
bow our heads for opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful Sabbath day. Thank you that you have given us another day to rest and to worship and listen to your word. Thank you for the beautiful sunshine that you have given us today. Please help us as we listen to the Sabbath school program and the following program. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Um, thank you for praise team. Um, I, I just wanted to welcome everyone today for a nice, sunny, windy Sabbath day. Uh, I just want to go over the program we're going to have today. So um, after this, we're going to watch a mission spotlight that's played by the media at the back. And then we'll have um, a summary of the lesson by Pastor June. And then afterwards, we'll discuss more in detail about the lesson. So Pastor Jean, or Ashley, uh, can we play the mission spotlight? Yasmin clutches her infant daughter, Hasina, to her chest as she makes her way home. She arrives at a makeshift shelter made of tarpaulin, where she and her family are staying as refugees. Yasmin belongs to a minority tribe in Myanmar called Rohingya, which has been targeted for their Islamic beliefs. Early one morning in September 2017, Yasmin woke to the loud whir of a helicopter circling her village in Myanmar. The next thing she heard was a machine gun strafing the buildings. Together with her husband, Yasmin grabbed her four children, all under the age of five, and rushed toward the sea. The screams and gunfire faded behind them as they ran, and by the time they reached the coast, the only sound that remained was the lapping of the waves. Still, the family was afraid. Hasina, then just a newborn, survived those eight days on breast milk with a piece of cloth for shade. Finally, Yasmin and her husband decided that capture was better than starvation. On the morning of the ninth day, the family fled toward Bangladesh. After an arduous journey, they ended up in a refugee camp called Camp Lida in Southeast Bangladesh. The Adventist Development and Relief Agency, or ADRA, is one of several humanitarian organizations providing basic necessities at the camp. Although life in the refugee camp is relatively safe, it's not always easy. Access to latrines is limited, private bathing is nearly impossible to find, and schools are non-existent. As a Rohingya refugee in Bangladesh, Yasmin's options for food are also limited. So twice a month, she gathers her youngest child and sets out for her allotted portion of rice, lentils, salt, sugar, and oil. Yasmin's husband was a successful shopkeeper and homeowner in Myanmar before the attack. With the income from his dry goods store and the shelter from his two-story wood house, her husband provided for all his family's needs. But now they have no choice but to accept aid and wait. Yasmin and her family are part of the 800,000 Rohingya refugees living in Bangladesh, yearning to return home to Myanmar. Until then, ADRA and other humanitarian organizations are working to meet their needs. Your support of ADRA and the mission offerings makes a tangible difference for people like Yasmin and her family. out with my dear brother and sister. Um, when we look into our Sabbath school lessons this, uh, today, we're going to be talking about the topic that is very crucial even up today. Actually, it's a topic that has been going on throughout the centuries when alone. What are we going to do with this uh, sensitive topic? So 
So we will talk about uh, what the Bible is teaching us about being in a state of being alone. Uh, we're going to be talking in Sundays uh, how the Bible teaches us that God has not um, planned that man will be in this state, in this lonely state. And then we're going to go and look into the different days, what um, kind of loneliness there is also to be found, or we as a church will find them in our, also in our congregation. The first part is those who are single or those who are un still unmarried. The next one would be those who find themselves in marriage, but that marriage ends. And what we can f uh, do with them, how we can uh, support them, what we can um, help them in that, uh, in that phase in their lives. Losing their spouse in divorce. And Wednesday lesson, we will be talking uh, about those who lose their spouse, not in divorce, but those who lose them in death. And lastly, we will be talking of those who have marriage but find themselves in a spiritual single life. We will be looking them into that topic far more closely. We will talk about how we can be able to um, support and be with them and also find them as our mission field as well. So we will be going into our classes today. Our teachers will be giving um, individual, uh, not individual, for their own class, their separate um, opening prayers. And may our Holy Spirit be the one teaching and leading us today. And may God bless us in our Sabbath school lesson. Amen.